Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to reveal my new set of wheel for the E46 M3. Yes, this box right here. Those of you that rock 19 inches on the E46 M3 know that the ride can be harsh, especially if you have aftermarket suspension like I do. So that's exactly what I was experiencing with the Apex R8 that I had. Remember, I had you know skinny tires on those, and every time I was going into bumps, man, the ride was just extra harsh. Although it looked so great. You know, on pictures or just looking at the car, it was beautiful. But when you were driving, especially me, daily in my E46 M3, I was taking it to work, going to DC roads, potholes. Every time I was going to potholes, going to work, I always had this feeling that I was bending the rim, going to the pothole. So to avoid that issue, I put back my 18 inches that are, you know, factory wheels that I purchased the car with and the ride was more pleasant so i decided you know what let me go ahead and sell the 19 inches and purchase a new set of 18 inches that we'll use for summer that's what i went ahead and purchased these right here in the boxes and then the tires that you see sticking on the corner right there that will be paired with this set right now let's go ahead now and unbox this Yes, our wheels. So as you can tell, these are ESR RF2 silver wheels and this silver hopefully is going to match the silver on my E46 M3. And as you can see, these are nice wheels right here and the specs are 18 for the front, 9.5 ET25. Oh, this is actually the back, 10.5 right here for the back, ET22 for the back, and ET25, 9.5 for the front. So this is again, the rest is right here. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and take it to the shop, have these tires, Michelin Pilot Super Sport mounted there, and then show you that first then mount it on the car. And right now, while filming this video, I discovered that I do have now an oil leak on the E46 M3, because as you guys know, the E46 M3 sits right here, and yeah, I have an oil leak. I need to figure out what that is. I'm gonna make a separate video into that right there, but for now, you have, I guess, a sneak peek. So this is the new wheels looking absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is Forge. As you can tell and I love it it is so good oh Jesus this is beautiful yeah yeah man Ooh, and it's concave I can't wait this is going to refresh the look on the E46 M3 make it look a little more modern like that car right there the Cayman without further ado let's go ahead now and take it to the shop so that we can mount these tires I am finally back from the tire place and as you can see the tires have been mounted to the wheels and again I made a mistake earlier about the offset It's offset 22 for the front and the back so you know for a fact that it's going to be aggressive now I decided to go with 275 40 18 on the back and 255 40 18 on the front just because i just wanted to have enough meat as you can see there's a lot of meat here on the back and on the front because that's going to give me the nice ride now this tire is and wheels are set ready to be mounted onto the car so let's go ahead and do that and see how everything turned out to be these are again my michelin pilot super sport let's go ahead and bring the car and also mount everything back so opening the garage the car is right here as you can see yep about to get some goodies in here and it came in looking lovely here goes 225 that i removed from the front 
versus 255 that is going now on the front now 255 is what i currently have on the back and this set this esr is actually a spacer free so i don't need the 10 millimeter spacer that i have right here so i'm going to remove that and just install this straight to the hub same on the back but i suspect that on the back i might have to add maybe a three or five millimeter spacers i will see once i do you know fitment here goes the michelin pilot super sport versus the bf goodrich tires that i have here and then although this is a good summer tires this is better after installation they look super nice Ooh, i love the look man look at it look at it so 255 40 18 on the front and my brakes are clearing with no issues as you can see on the back i added three millimeter spacers because when i first put it i just didn't like the back i think it needed to like be pushed further out but now i think it is nice enough that it is not going to rub although i did not take it on a test drive yet so i can confirm that part but when i look at this right now i remember my f80 m3 and that's kind of how the back tire was looking with a poke here on the wheel arch so i hope that is not going to rub because i love i love this meaty look and the concaveness oh look at that <laughs> this is awesome after i drive it i'm going to give you my comment if it rubs or not if it rubs i'm going to remove the three millimeter spacer that i put on the back and just rock it without spacers but this is a spacer free set on the front i have zero spacers and on the front is a nine and a half et22 you can see i definitely have to clean my calipers because now with these wheels that have fewer spokes i definitely have to make sure that my hub and brakes are always clean and the car also so i'm gonna take it on a test drive and then report to you how it feels fast forward a few days later i put about a hundred miles on these tires already and i have quite to admit that i had a tiny bit of rubbing when i went a big pothole i just did that on purpose because i wanted to see if it was going to rub and it did rub a tiny bit on the back so what I think I'm going to do during summer is I'm going to raise the back just a tiny bit also to make it even because I measure and I have inconsistency on all four corners. So I'm going to adjust that just to make sure that I have the same amount of, you know, heights on all four corners so that I don't have any reverse rack or I don't have the front being too low or inconsistencies like i have right now so that's something i'm going to do during summertime because i have to remove the wheel and turn measure and it takes a lot of time right now it's pretty cold still so i won't do that although i am running on summer tires with this cold which is not recommended but hey it's not snow time i know i lost my e36 m3 with these same conditions but i'm not going to be uh as full as i was before so on this note thank you for watching if this is the first time stopping by the channel make sure that you subscribe i have content about this car this car right there f80 m3 e36 m3 r56 mini cooper i have content on all those cars but for now I only own these two and then i have a lot of plans going on for these two cars